Hey everyone, so welcome on Project Pro channel, a platform which is a one-stop solution for end-to-end -end solve big data related projects. For the folks who are watching me for the very first time, myself Shashank Mishra and I am having five years of experience in this industry. Started into this big data domain, especially the data engineering and so far I have worked for multiple companies and multiple data domains. I started my career with Opera Solution, a service based firm, then moved into Paytm which is the India's largest startup into the digital payments and then McKinsey for some time just to test out the uh, consultant job profiles and then I was in Amazon and recently I took a move from Amazon and joined Expedia as a data engineer 3 role. So from the very beginning you can see I am completely into the the big data so today i will be talking about a very very important topic like this is a most often asked question everybody have been asking related to the data engineering process into the big tech firms big tech product based companies especially the fang and before starting with the main topic i would request you to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon because you will see this face very very frequently on this channel i will be bringing a lot of useful videos related to big data data engineering secrets interview processes whatever i will be discussing today is really really important at least from the freshers perspective because you don't have much idea about the interviews in the product based firms and especially in the fang companies and that's what i will be talking about today to start with the interview process in the fang like the facebook amazon apple netflix google microsoft uber and many other good product based companies so especially like the freshers or entry level freshers when you talk about these job profiles and uh, you are interviewing for the data engineer role in these companies. So the typical interview process will be divided in maximum four to five rounds right including everything. So I will talk about each and every round and in each round what kind of expectation they will have and what would be the most often asked topics in each round right. This interview process how it will actually start first you might get a test link or we can say online assessment right. So the online assessment it will be a typical one one and a half hour depends on company to company will be on uh, platforms like hacker rank sometimes hacker earth or any other this kind of platform. So typically this part or this round will be divided in two sections very very specifically two three SQL questions they will uh, provide you a data set with proper schema table names and everything and on top of that there will be some queries or there will be some problem statement will be written and you need to solve it you need to run your uh, query there on that uh, data set and it should be the exact output because there will be multiple test cases which will be passed or single uh, test case just for that query to match your output with the desired output. So that's how these two three SQL questions will be there and most specifically one or max to max two coding questions and I have seen in my five years of experience the level of coding questions for the data engineering roles right is not very very high as compared to software engineering. So even if you have a decent and basic to medium level understanding of the data structures and algorithm and you are proficient with any of the language be it the python be it the java scala anything you can code in the language of your own choice. So that's how this round will be and again I'm, I'm telling you don't waste your too much of time into the competitive programming or very tough level of coding questions because that is definitely not necessary in order to crack the data engineering roles. Now after the online assessment there will be typically four rounds. So first two rounds will be like pure on the technical side and third round will be on you can say more on to the design and your project side. And the last round will be more towards the hiring manager, behavioral or bar raiser. This is the uh, title which has been given to this particular round. So now let me talk about these rounds one by one. So first technical round in this round again they would like to uh, judge you more on the SQL side first because people who don't know SQL is something which is a really really important skill or you can say a mandatory skill for all data related profiles be data engineering, data science, data analyst, business analyst and SQL will be having approximately 30 to 35 percent of weightage in your interviews. So make sure you are really really good on the SQL side not just practice the basic so of SQL let's say simple group buys or joins no that is not sufficient you need to explore the advanced side of SQL as well for an example common table expression recursive CTs and uh, then we can say complex joins with group buys case wins with group buys nested sub queries and also the window functions which is a really really important and most important topic from the interview perspective and again uh, like interviewer will judge you on your programming and problem solving part for this round my secret tip will be uh, whenever you are solving 
एनी क्वेश्चन कोडिंग क्वेश्चन स्पेशली राइट मेक श्योर यू आर थिंकिंग आउट लाउड वॉट एवर अप्रोच यू आर टेकिंग मेक श्योर यू आर नैरेटिंग इट नैरेटिंग यूर अप्रोच सो दैट वॉज अबाउट द फर्स्ट टेक्निकल राउंड इन सेकेंड टेक्निकल राउंड अगेन देयर विल बी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू एस क्यू एल प्लस देयर विल बी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू योर बिग डेटा फंडामेंटल्स तो बिग डेटा फंडामेंटल्स uh let's say that company is specifically working on something and same thing was mentioned in your resume for an example very popular spark spark definitely a processing framework the the computation engine so in this round they would like to test your in depth understanding related to big data terminologies how well you know about the big data related frameworks their architecture and the optimization techniques and how practically you can use these frameworks right so the kind of questions let's say you can expect uh, what is the lazy evaluation in spark right and let's say you are processing uh, two uh, very large tables or data frames in the spark application there will be data skewness uh, on your cluster so how are you going to resolve it okay so these are something which is really really important from the interview perspective that's why i'm saying don't just go ahead with the theoretical concept whenever you are thoroughly studying these frameworks or you have practically used it Uh, always try to prepare yourself from the practical implementation if you have used that uh, particular framework what challenges did you face and what are typical optimization techniques what could be the possible failover points in that particular framework and complete understanding of architecture because they can definitely ask you why did you even choose spark why not any other framework right so these kind of questions will be into the picture and apart from that whatever uh, standard things we have let's say explain the difference between secondary name node and standby name node in hadoop how this entire map reduce processing works what is the sorting and shuffling part what happens the data is spilling serialization deserialization partitioning and bucketing related logics in hive so these kind of questions will be there and so this is what they will be testing for your big data related understanding so that was about the second technical round now talking about the third round which is more towards the a project discussion or you can say the design related question so in this round the first thing is which is really important is the discussion around the projects why because uh, you are it's still into this 0 to 3 years of experience and in this time or during this period you are learning the things probably you wouldn't have got the chance to design or architect a full fledged uh, data application data pipeline or anything so that's why their prime focus might be on the project side they would like to understand the problem statement you are working for the tech stack you have used what kind of challenges did you face in uh, your particular project what was your contribution okay and they would try to know more about the data as well like what kind of scale of the data you were processing right what was the frequency how were you handling the failover scenarios how were you tackling the data backfilling how did, how were you actually scheduling your jobs pipelines so many other important questions related to your projects so that's why before appearing into your uh, interviews in these companies make sure you know end to end everything about your projects from the beginning till the end what was your contribution is very much important i like to explain that which piece you are working on and how it benefited the entire project and let's say the interviewer want to focus on some design related questions say a interviewer can give you a random design question or a kind of let's say problem they are trying to solve in their own company they can put it as a problem statement in front of you and ask you to solve it so the best part about this design round right there is no fixed answer for anything for any architecture there will always be a scope of optimization or new enhancement but as a interviewer i will be more interested to know your thought process let's say you are 3 years of experience you worked in different companies different projects different data domain so i would like to see how you are utilizing that experience while explaining that architecture for the problem statement which i have asked so make sure whatever architecture you are designing explain it uh, carefully explain it uh, in depth and also make sure you you have gathered all the requirement because this part is very very important so don't jump onto the solution part instantly first try to understand the problem statement and uh, ask as many as questions you you can ask to the interviewer uh, like what would be the data source what would be the frequency of data what would be the format how we need to process what would be the downstream system right there can be multiple questions which you can ask to the interviewer first collect that information and then start designing your solution and also you are covering all the important corner cases test cases as well because that is also a very very important part of this design round so that was about the third round now last and very much important and most of the people think this is 
the easiest round to, to crack but honestly speaking no this is not that easy and this round is the behavioral round hiring manager or you can say the bar raiser because when it comes to the technical understanding design coding sql everything there are resources available you can practice these things right you can do multiple exercises you can read multiple blogs youtube videos right and that's how you can prepare but behavior is something which comes with your mindset nobody can even teach you it will completely depend on your reaction for a particular uh, situation right so that's why it becomes really really important and in order to crack this round the behavioral round or hiring manager round you have to go into the interview with a very positive mindset first of all this thing and i will also share some examples that what kind of uh, like hypothetical situations uh, that manager can put in front of you so i do remember one of the questions let's say uh, you as an engineer working on a particular project right and your manager or you like combined together decided few deadlines for it let's say after one month you will release this particular project but there were some circumstances and because of that you are not able to meet that particular deadline now as an engineer how you are going to communicate it to your manager your uh, upstream teams your downstream teams and also your consumers whosoever it is like dependent on that particular project how you going to communicate it like this is very very important being an engineer i think from that perspective you are working in an organization and if you are not communicating things in a real manner then probably you are not growing second kind of hypothetical question let's say um, being a manager i have assigned a particular task to three individual engineers my in my team right and one fine day they they all came up with a different different approach and now let's say uh, you think your approach is well optimized and other things so how would you convince your uh, fellow colleagues and even including me like how will you con- convince your manager and the leadership for your architecture and approach so this is another example of hypothetical question and there can be many more and that's why i'm saying uh, you have to be really really uh, positive in this particular round and this is the only secret sauce to crack it and also just be honest don't try to bluff anything and don't try to be fake and even before appearing into this particular round make sure uh, you have revised your past let's say you are having 3 years of experience make sure whatever happened with you during this these 3 years in different companies what were your uh, good experiences bad experience with that particular company same like experiences with managers colleagues different projects their use cases whatever you have seen in past 3 4 years right in those particular companies just try to recall it because there will be some hypothetical questions around that situation as well don't do bad mouthing for your previous organizations managers or whatever it was just try to uh, put your answer in a positive uh, way or a positive mindset so that's why i'm saying uh, just be honest and don't try to be fake in this round this is the only secret sauce to crack it and one very very important thing utilize this round because when you will be in a situation where you need to make a decision whether you should go for this company or not so how you can do it for that one you need a complete information for the job role uh, for which that particular company is hiring for so and the best information you can get from the hiring manager you can definitely ask questions related to your role and responsibilities what kind of project they are working and uh, what kind of tech stack they are using you can ask questions related to work life balance and whatever you want to ask being an interview candidate so try to ask it because these pointers will help you to decide whether you should go for this particular company or not and that's why i'm saying this round is very very much important so that's what i had for you guys in this video i know it's little bit lengthy but very very informative and i have explained everything and that explanation is completely based on my interview experiences for these product based companies and the fang level companies so if you find it informative and you think this is going to be really helpful for others as well make sure to like this video as well in the big numbers so that it can reach to other aspiring data professionals and also again subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and also share your thoughts opinions or let's say you have any query related to interview process in these product based companies put it in the comment section i will definitely respond for each and every query and i will see you guys in next coming weeks with another different topic for the data engineering related videos till then just stay safe stay home take care of yourself and your family too